What's going on guys, Assalamu alaikum, Nelson here, a Linode Developer Advocate. In this video, we're going to continue our Docker series. And more importantly, what we're going to learn is how to take our custom images that we built locally in the last video and then push them to a Docker registry. And I'm also going to teach you about tagging and versioning, which is super important because later on when we touch on Kubernetes, you'll see that if we want to roll back or if we want to switch versions, then having um, you know the correct Docker image with the tag and version is so, so important. So if you're new to this channel, go and subscribe, comment down below, and also don't forget that there is a $100 credit that you can use when you sign up with the note. So if you wanna follow along, which I do encourage you, then the link will be in the description of this video. Without further ado, let's go ahead and kick off this video. So a Docker registry, remember before from the slides in here, so we have the client, we have the server, which is the Docker host, and then we have the Docker registries. So this is where the images are kept. So you've seen that we've used an Nginx image. And basically, if we want to have our own images stored in a Docker registry, we can do it. So this is what we're going to learn in this video. So let's go ahead and basically sign up with Docker Hub and we're going to then connect to Docker Hub and then push Docker images. And you'll see that once we push our image to Docker registry, you can then go off and pull that same image and run the application. So you'll see this. So what I want to do is let's go ahead and in here, go to docker.com and in here, Let's go ahead and sign up. So if you don't have an account, make sure to create an account but here. I'm just going to use this account right here. So it equals code and the password is already filled. So I'm just going to sign in. And there we go. So in here, this is my Docker hub account right here. So in here, you can see that we have a couple of images, right? So here we can see that I've got one on Kubernetes, one on Spring Boot, one on backend, one on website. So let's go ahead and create a repository that we can use to push Docker images. So here I'm going to create and let's give it a name. So in here, I'm going to say Linode and then dash and then Docker. And in here, we going to create a public repository so that anyone can have access to it and pretty much just say create. And also you can see, for example, here, so they have a command, so Docker tag and then local image, and you'll see this in a second. So here, let's just create. And there we go. So we have a repository with Docker Hub. Now you can see that, so to push new image tag to this repository, you say Docker push, Amigos code, the node Docker, and then the tag. So in here, the, the tag. So let me just uh, cancel out of this. And let's go back to our node. So this is our instance right here. So remember, we have this instance with this public IP address and it's right here and inside before. So let me just say cat. And then here, remember, we have this Docker file. So Docker file and it's a very simple Docker file with only two lines. Let me just make this bigger just like that and then cat again, you can see right here, right? So it's a very small Docker image with basically two lines, right? So now we need to authenticate in order to push these images to Docker Hub. So in here, say Docker and then login. And you'll see that this now is asking me for my username. So here my username is Amigos Code and then my password. And that uh, you can see that login succeeded. So this is really nice. So now we have successfully logged in. We can start pushing Docker images. So in here, remember, so Docker image and then LS. Let's have a look at the list of images that we have. So in here, remember before we had all of these images and we had this one. So my app and then latest right here. So what we're going to do is, so we're going to create a new tag. So the repository here has to be 
so in here the one that we've just created so it has to be amigos code and then linode right so let me just basically take this right here so the repository has to be amigos code and then forward slash uh what was it linode and then docker and then the tag we can basically um have a tag and basically this is a different version for our application so latest means that this is the latest image or the latest version so what we're going to do is the following so we're going to basically run the tag so remember before we actually built the image right here so we said docker and then build and then dash t and then we said a tag right which is this guy my app so what we're going to do is we're going to paste uh, not that but we're going to take this repository so this is the repository name this one i'm going to paste that and then i'm going to say i can say column and then latest or by default it, it will give us a latest image and then say dot so sending to uh, docker daemon and there we go so now if i say docker and then image ls let's have a look at the list of images and we have one image in here which is really nice now what we're going to do is we're going to say docker and let me just show you the command so here docker push so let's just take this command right here so docker push and in here so docker push and then column and then the actual tag so the tag will be latest or i can just omit column and then latest so here if i press enter just have a look so it's actually pushing to docker hub so this is nice and there we go so now let's go back here and let's refresh and have a look we have a new tag and this is really nice right so now what you can do is you can say like you can even try yourself you can say docker pool and then amigos code forward slash linode and then docker and basically you can then run the exact same application so currently this is the application that we have like it's just a normal nginx container but basically you'll get the exact same thing now what we're going to do is let's just go back in here and what we're going to do is we're going to basically let's say uh, in here we have the uh, index.html and i'm going to say vi for a second and then index.html and in here if i scroll down so here and then in here i'm going to say running containers with docker images and then i'm going to say and and then tags and then v2 so this is the version 2 right of our application and then escape wq there we go so now let's actually build a new image so this will be the version 2 so here so we're going to build but right here i'm going to say right so this is the latest which is fine so let's just uh, do the same thing so this will be the latest now and what i'm going to do is i'm also going to version this with a number so here we can say docker and then tag and then i want to take the latest so here i want to take basically the latest and then i want to tag it with column and then one so enter and this is the version one so here i'm going to press uh, Control l docker image ls and have a look we have so we have latest in here and then we have this version um one right so let's now basically let's vi again index.html and here so that should actually be version two so it's fine so let's say version three in here and we're going to fix the tag in a second so that's version three so let's run the exact same command so here so what i'm going to do is i want to say uh so 
we want to tag so we want to rename the tag which is one to version two just to match the content in our um, index or HTML there we go so now if I do docker image ls Ooh, we have a couple of images, uh, but basically have a look. So here we have version two in here, right? So now if I, let me just make this smaller and there we go. So you can see everything. So now what we're going to do is we're going to build again, right? But this time, so this will be the latest. It's fine. Let's just build latest. And this will have the content out on our web page with the version three. And I also want to tag. So I want to tag. So basically, I want to tag the latest. So here, I want to say that I do have version three there. And you can see it's just Docker tag. And then the um, image that I want to tag from. And then the new tag. So if I type Docker image ls. And there we go. So we have in here, right? So now what we're going to do is we're going to run these containers. So let's just say Docker run. So Docker, uh, let me see if I have the previous command. So there we go. So Docker run. And basically, let's just say version two will run on port 9002. And here will be Amigos code forward slash Linode dash and then Docker and then column and then two. So we're going to run that as a container. There we go. And let's run version three on port 9003. There you go. So make sure that uh, those ports are not used. So in my case, they weren't. So um, I remember that I think it was 9000, which was used for version one or version. Uh, I think, yeah, I think it was the version one. But if I now basically say Docker PS and make the font a little bit smaller, there we go. You can see everything on the screen and have a look. So we have a couple of containers and here we have Basically, so this one right here, so version two is listening on port 9002 and version three is listening on 9003. Uh, we also have 9001 and 9000. So all of these are different applications. So now let's actually test all of this. Let's go back to our browser and here. So 9000 and one is running this content. So let's check 9002 now. Whoa, have a look. So this is a new version of our application, which is really cool. And 9003. And it's running 9000, or actually it's running with version 3 of our application. So there you have it. And let's see what 9000 is running. Hello world. So you can see that this is the power of image tagging and building your own images, right? So there you have it. This is how you create your own dog images and then have your own uh, registry, create tags, and then push those. So also what I want to show you is in here. So remember, so if I basically run, uh, I just want to run like that right? And this will be the latest. So if you don't specify anything, so this will be latest. So let's run 9004. And if I put the phone a little bit bigger, there we go. And right, so this is actually running latest. So if I run this, and now in here, so 9003, Whoops, that doesn't exist. <laughs> My bad. So 9003, just like that. So you can see that it says n tags v3 and 9004, 
will basically run the exact same thing because it's running latest. So if I press enter, have a look, you can see that it's working. So there you have it. Now you know how to use Docker images, tagging, connecting to registries, so on and so forth. If you have any questions, please comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you on the next video. Assalamu alaikum.